What is happening you guys? Welcome back to another video and today we're going to be talking about Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 compared to Dragon Ball Xenoverse. Um, so if you guys do not know, Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 is the sequel to Dragon Ball Xenoverse coming out on October 25th on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, but coming on October 28th and Steam. There's also three different um, pre-order packages you can get. You can get just the, the standard version, which is just the game and Black Goku, or you can Black Goku and that uh, little log thing, if I'm not mistaken. And then you have the Deluxe Edition, which gives you the Season Pass and um, the physical the, the physical game copy and Black Goku and a, an early unlockable character, which will be Future Trunks in parentheses Super. S Future Trunks from Super. Excuse me. And then you have the final version, which I think is cool. The one of the, which is kind of really nice to me, the Deluxe Edition, which gives you a Goku collectible stat um action figure, and then you have like a steel book case. You get the soundtrack from the game. You get the book of like how it was made, and you get the game itself. And that's $150. So you have the Deluxe Edition, which is $90, if I'm not mistaken. And then you just have the regular Standard Edition, which is just a regular $60. So that's what Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 is. Uh, is it better than Dragon Ball Xenoverse? Um, I haven't personally played it, but what from what I have seen, yes, it is. They have improved on quite a bit. This game runs at 60 frames per second in 1080p, if I'm not mistaken. This game moves very, 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 very easier, much smoother than the first game. Because the first game, although don't even know, the first game was really, really good. Just the first game with move more rigid and edgy, almost like a Street Fighter esque type game. It was a huge step back from the rest of the Dragon Ball games, in my opinion. Um, the fighting mechanics, that is. Um. But Dragon Ball Universe 2, we've kind of gotten back to the classic, you know, Dragon Ball fighting. Like, it's more fast-paced, you know. You can link combos together a lot, like, easier. And all of the characters have a different feel. Like, they, it, it was like that in the first game, but it's a much... You can tell you can tell the difference without even playing it in this game. Like, if you, ha if you guys haven't seen, go check out... Um, Janimba versus Android 16. I have I will leave the link to that in the description below if you guys haven't checked that out. And you can tell that 16 plays different than Janimba, which I really enjoy. And I really like how they took the time. Because Janimba he even has like that classic teleport where like you turn into like a bunch of squares and junk and you like go to another part of the map. But that's really cool. Like I enjoy how they put so much time into this game. I'm really appreciative of that. And this game looks like it's promising. This game looks like we will won't be playing. We will be playing it for years. Like I don't see this game dying off as quickly as the first Xenoverse 2 game did. Like Xenoverse 1 died off in a way. Six months? Maybe. Well no no no, I'm not even gonna say it died off because I still hop on Xenoverse now. Like when I upload my Road to Xenoverse videos and I'm in the lobby, there are still but a lot of people playing that game. Well, that's probably the fact that Xenoverse 2 is coming out. So, yeah, there's still there's a whole bunch of people still playing that game. Oh, and also about that, I will, I will be uploading the final um the final part of my Road to Xenoverse uh, in a couple of days, hopefully. So, you guys look out for that. But yeah, back on topic. Um, yeah, Xenoverse 2 looks like it's going to be a promising game, and I, I can't wait to play it. I wish I would have been able to go to Gamescom or Anime Expo to play the game, uh, like some of the YouTubers that I follow do, or have been invited to Bandai to play. I really would like to do that one day. Like, I really would like to go and play games for Bandai or make games for Bandai, that, like a lot of long Dragon Ball series. Like, I would really enjoy doing that. So, yeah, Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, it looks really, really nice. I have high hopes for this game and um, there are some new scans too we have new characters um we have like Majin Vegeta uh, there's also been scans really we have scans released for the create character creation um villainous slash atrocious Yamcha time breaker Yamcha um what else uh, oh 
also, if you guys haven't known, this was this news was released a month ago. Um, Canton City, it's seven times bigger than Toki Toki City. Like that's ridiculous. Seven times bigger than Toki Toki City, and I believe that within Canton City, that different races can travel to different places. Like if you're Namek, you can travel. To, um, if you're Namekian, you can travel to Namek. If you're Saiyan, you travel to um, uh, what's it called? The Capsule Corporation with Vegeta and Beaumont. And I'm guessing if you're a Freezer race, you travel to Freezer spaceship. Like I don't know how it's gonna happen because we don't really know the home of Freezer's race, which I wish we would have found on the series. But that's another video for another time. Um, but yeah, overall the game looks really, really nice, and I have high hopes for this game. So if you guys agree with me, leave a comment below. And if you disagree with me, tell me why. I want to know why you think that Dragon Ball Universe 2 is gonna be boo boo. Like, explain to me why you think. Dragon Ball Universe 2 is going to be worse or not the same or the same, excuse me, as the first game. Uh, so don't forget to Dragon Fist that subscribe button, leave a like, and always come back for more.